If you're a fan of a soft homemade bread, today's recipe is just for you. We'll be making a delicious flaxseed cream bread. This bread is super soft and rich. It's perfect for sandwiches, breakfast, or even just on its own with some butter or jam. I'll walk you through each step from start to finish and share some tips along the way to make sure your bread turns out perfect. Let's get baking. The first step is to activate the yeast in a small bowl. We'll take 50 milliliters lukewarm milk and mix it with about 30 grams sugar here because it helps feed the yeast and makes it foam up quicker and add about five grams active dry yeast. Make sure the milk is just warm to the touch, not too hot. If it's too hot, you might kill the yeast and we don't want that. Let's set this aside for about 10 to 15 minutes to let the yeast bloom. While the yeast is activating, let's get our dry ingredients together. I've got 280 grams or 1.7 cup of bread flour here in a large mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add 30 grams of flaxseed and one half teaspoon of salt. Flax seeds are going to give this bread a wonderful texture. Now use a whisk to mix it all up until it's evenly combined. We want the spread throughout the flour. Next up, let's mix the wet ingredients. In another bowl, add 100 milliliters or 0.45 cup of heavy cream and crack one whole egg. The cream is what's going to give our bread that rich and soft texture. Just whisk those together until they're smooth. Nothing fancy here, this will combine with our dry ingredients and yeast in just a minute. Now that our yeast is all bubbly and activated, it's time to bring everything together. First add the flour mixture and pour the yeast mixture into the flour, followed by the egg and cream mixture. Now attach the dough hook to your stand mixer and turn the mixer on low speed to combine all the ingredients. Once the dough starts to come together, increase the speed slightly to let the dough knead for about five to seven minutes. The dough might seem sticky at first, but it'll come together as the mixer does the kneading. If it's too dry, add a tablespoon of cream or water. If too sticky, sprinkle a little extra flour. After about seven minutes of kneading, we're going to add the magic ingredient, 40 grams of softened, unsalted butter. Gradually add the butter in small pieces while the mixer is running on low speed. The dough may get greasy at first, but keep mixing until it becomes smooth and shiny. Here, I am using high protein bread flour. Bread flour typically has a higher protein content, around 12 to 14 percent, compared to all-purpose flour, which results in more gluten formation when mixed with liquid. Gluten creates a stretchy, elastic network that traps air, allowing the dough to rise more and give your bread a lighter, fluffier texture. Once the dough is smooth and soft, we're ready for the first rise. Take the dough out of the mixer and place it in a greased bowl. Cover it with a damp cloth or plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm place for about one to one and a half hours or until it doubles in size. If your kitchen is cold, place the dough in your oven with just the light on. It creates a cozy, warm spot for the dough to rise. Once the dough has doubled in size, punch it down to release the gas and transfer it to a working surface. Shape the dough into a loaf or divide it into smaller rolls. For today, I'm dividing the dough into three smaller size. Place the rolling pin in the middle of the dough and press it down. Roll out the dough away from you, rolling all the way through the top edge. Then tuck the tip down toward you, making sure it is right in the middle. Shaping helps create surface tension on the dough's exterior. This tension is important for maintaining the bread's shape as it rises in the oven, preventing it from spreading too much. A well-shaped dough can rise evenly during the proofing. Proper shaping sets the foundation for a smooth, rounded loaf that bakes beautifully. Without shaping, the dough could rise unevenly, leading to irregularities in the final loaf. If you shape your dough with a tight surface, you'll get a better, more consistent crust with fewer cracks and a smooth finish. This also improves the bread's overall presentation. Place the shaped dough into a greased loaf pan 
or onto a baking sheet. Cover it again and let it rise for about 30 to 45 minutes. This second rise is what gives the bread its airy, fluffy texture. Preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the loaf for 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden brown and sounds hollow when you tap the bottom. Once the bread is done, let it cool. And there you have it, a beautiful fluffy flaxseed cream bread. To make your flaxseed cream bread as soft and fluffy as possible, try these baking tips. Hydrate the flour, using cream and butter adds richness, but water content also matters. A bit of extra liquid, like a tablespoon of warm water or milk, can boost hydration, which helps create that soft texture. Let it rise fully. Give the dough enough time to double in size during both the first and second rises. If it's cold, find a warm place, like an oven with just the light on, to ensure the dough rises to its full potential. Cool properly. Allow the bread to cool in the pan for about 10 minutes, then transfer it to a wire rack. Cooling on a rack prevents the crust from becoming soggy and keeps the bread airy inside. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you try this recipe, let me know how it turns out in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more delicious recipes. I'll see you in the next one.